hello. In this video, we are going to show how to repair an Excel worksheet to be able to generate a graph of the alpha values of a triprotic acid, specifically in this case, phosphoric acid. In cells J4, J5, and J6, he put the labels for the Ka1, Ka2, Ka3 acid dissociation constants for a triprotic acid. And in cells K4, K5, and K6, he put down the specific values, in this case, for phosphoric acid. In cell C3, we type the label pH. In cell C4, we type the value zero. In cell C5, we have the formula equals C4 plus 0 0.5. Then we copy cell C5 and paste it from C6 to C34. In cell B3, we put the label uh, concentration of H plus. In cell B4, we have the formula equals 10 to the power minus dollar sign C5. So that is the um, pH there. Uh, we're going to copy cell B4 and paste from B5 to B34. In cell H3, we put the label B. In cell H4, we have this complicated formula. This is essentially the denominator for all of the alpha expressions. Then we copy cell H4 and paste it from H5 to H34. In cell D3, we put the label H3A. So this is the triple protonated form. In cell D4, we have the formula. We copy cell D4 and we paste it from D5 to D34. In cell E3, we put the label H2A minus. So this is the conjugate base of phosphoric acid. In cell E4, we put the formula. Then we copy cell E4 and paste it from E5 to E34. In cell F3, we have HA2 minus. So this is the conjugate base of the H2A minus. Uh, in cell F4, we have a formula. And then we copy cell uh, F4 from and paste it from F5 to F34. And then finally, in cell G3, you put the label A3 minus. So this is the most completely deprotonated version of our acid. In cell G4, we have a formula. Then we copy that cell G4 and paste it from G5 to G34. So for columns D, E, F, and G, we get a column of the alpha values for different pHs, all the way from 0 to 15 in this particular video. At this point, we've completed all the entries that we need in our worksheet. And then to generate the Excel graph, we're going to left click on cell C3. We're going to hold down the left mouse button and then drag all the way to H34, and then we're going to release the mouse. We go up to the top, we click Insert and then Charts. We hover over the icons until we see the uh, Insert, Scatter, X, Y, or. We're going to click on that icon, and then we select the icon in the top row on the right. That gives us the curve without seeing individual uh, data points.
And here is an example of what the Excel graph would look like for the data that we have mentioned in this video. To adapt this to any other triprotic acid, simply put the uh, different Ka1, Ka2, and Ka3 values in cells K4, K5, and K6. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Stay healthy, stay safe, and as always, have a good one.